Hey everyone, today I'm going to review I Am New York by Carlo Stenga, an architect and illustrator from Italy. And this is the third book in this city illustration series from Moskin. The first book was I Am Milan, second book I Am London, both of which I have featured on my YouTube channel and blog before, so do check them out uh, because those books, including this one, they are terrific. I'm actually a huge fan of Carlos Tenga. So this is a paperback format. And the paper used is the non-glossy type of paper. I can't remember how much is the, um, the book, but uh, it's not that expensive. Anyway, take a look at the Art. Take a look at the insane amount of details here. It's um, pretty amazing. I wonder how much time he took to create an illustration like this. Probably over a few days. And this book probably took him like several months or even one or two years to create. I mean, if you look at the amount of illustrations included featured in this book and the amount of detail that went into each piece of art it is um, it is mind-blowing so here's a little bit of history about New York and Manhattan now the text is actually written in first person um, perspective hence I am what I like about his work is um, there is this dynamism. So his composition, it's really terrific. His use of colors, um, really fantastic. I'm going to be using a lot of adjectives in this uh, video, by the way. And I also like that he uses a lot of uh, negative space. So it's not just drawing lines like solid lines again against white background or against light color i love his use of negative shapes so with this particular illustration you can see the line art it was drawn in white and the background with some watercolor like texture but the pipes in the background the lines were drawn solid so i like this use of um, white against darker background and then we have solid lines against a mid colored background and you're going to see a lot of examples of the use of negative shapes in this book many of the illustrations i believe are mixed media work um, some of the colors are added with uh, photoshop or some digital software and this particular illustration um, the line art is not very obvious, so this is actually a play on the shape. And here you can see we have lines, we have this mid value, and in the background we have this building here, which is just this silhouette. There's no line art for the building in the background, it's just a silhouette. So sometimes he uses lines to draw buildings, sometimes he just uses the silhouette, in this case he just uses this uh, shapes of pattern. I really like the mix and match of the different styles. And here you can see the line art drawn with different colors just to use the colors to separate the different bicycles here. You can expect the same level of detail um, with his earlier two books. By the way, if you want to actually learn how Carlos Tenga actually creates illustrations like this he has an online course on domestic car where he would go through his creative process so what he does is actually he will prepare a sketch and then draw and then he will import his uh, scan his work and import them into photoshop 
and he will have different layers for different elements in the scene so for example with this particular scene he would probably have a layer for the taxi layers for the people and layers for different buildings behind so that he can move all these elements around to play around with the composition because if you are to create a mixed media art like this it's certainly possible to use watercolor and opaque markers or opaque paint but it's going to be incredibly challenging and if you somehow make any mistake it's going to be very difficult to correct so all these illustrations they were actually um, drawn traditionally scanned and with the colors and textures added later on digitally this book is absolutely beautiful and check out this silhouette of this i can't remember who this person is but he's holding the globe it's a sculpture and in this case he uses this silhouette and if you like this book definitely get his earlier two books as well i'll have links to where you can purchase his books in the video description below this is a wonderful book highly recommended five out of five stars easily